Greetings and salutations, my name is Nguyen and welcome to another video for Blender. So for this video, I'm kind of going to go and show you like the general idea of an armature and how to go through and start messing with the weights that are associated with said armature. So we go through, we start off, here we have our lovely Benny and we're going to go through and start building a skeleton, also known as an armature. Uh, you might notice in my menu that I have uh, additional options for my armature stuff. So I actually have a pre-made human skeleton that I had added on as a add-on in the uh, Blender user preferences. And uh, this goes through and gives me a human skeleton already set up. So I think I had mentioned that last time. So there it is in that menu. Very useful if you're building a humanoid character and you want an already pre-built skeleton to go through and apply to your model. So we go through and I will add my own though custom armature to my model as opposed to go through and use that guy. Uh, I will probably try to use that guy in the future just to, so you can see him in action and you know use an actual really nice armature as opposed to one that I'm kind of just throwing together on a nice simple model like Benny here. Something to note that when you are going through and extruding your your bones, uh, depending on what little node that you click on on either end of the bone, uh, when you extrude, uh, one end might just go through and produce another bone piece, uh, and the other will actually go through and grow and continue building off of the existing bone model. You'll see me go through and click on one to go through and produce like a limb for my leg or my arm. And while the other one I'll go through and like click on, I'll actually go through and fully build and form uh, a leg and stuff that's connected. Once I am done placing my armature where I want, I'll go through and I will set my armature to be the parent of my model and go through and have it, it will automatically calculate the weights for me. And then I'll go through and touch up those weights using the uh, weight brush. So when you are working with the weight brush, something to note is if something is dark blue, that means that your bone has the least amount of influence on that part of the model and if it is bright red that is the point on the for the bone that has the greatest influence on that part of your model so as you're going through and messing with the weights and stuff of a model uh, you can go through and like create a color gradient scale thing for adjusting the influence that you want different bones for your skeleton to have on different parts of your model. Uh, depending on what you're working with, you kind of start to get a feel for how you want your weights to influence your model. Um, this also comes into play for like, helping to fix weird clipping that might occur. So um, sometimes if you like bend your bend the arm of a model, it might make this really weird um, sharp like a sharp edge or sharp sharp turn or something that's really jacked when it's supposed to be like this nice smooth thing um usually going through and tweaking the weight at that point for different bones will go through and help maybe like smooth it out like i said this part kind of takes just like messing with and kind of tweaking and moving your model to get it to a point where you're kind of happy with it um when you're looking at the brush settings when you're looking at the weight, if you go through and you drag the bar all the way down to zero, that'll go through and you can start applying like a zero weight to things. And then 
you can go through and drag the bar all the way up and I can go through and add like the maximum and of course doing anything in between we'll go through and do an in-between value. It is also important to note that um, the weight brush mode actually has different brushes and tools that you can use. I did not go into it in this video, but these guys are super useful because they actually go through and let you mix and blend the colors and go through and maybe lighten them. So these, these tools are extremely useful, but for right now with Benny here, I kind of just went with the basic what I had because I'm not necessarily going to be doing overly much with Benny. I'll probably go through and put him a few simple poses and actually go through into more detail for the weight brush and stuff on a more complicated model. So for right now, I'm only using the one, but do note that there are a lot of nice useful tools that do come with the weight brushes that give you more control in adjusting the weight and influence of your skeleton. And then uh, once I have the weights how I like it, I go through and I start setting uh, Benny into different poses in pose mode using my armature. So I go through, I'll switch um, mostly over to like the rotate mode and go through and I'll rotate the limbs and all that fun stuff. And you can actually go through and save the poses that you make within the pose library that is within one of the armature settings. Super useful for going through and like saving like a basic pose or even like resetting just parts of your skeleton to a pose that maybe you had. So super fantastic, super useful, highly recommend using it. And that concludes uh, this blender tutorial. Uh, like I said, my main goal is I wanted to show you the idea and concepts of working with armature as well as the weight brush. Um, next time we'll go through for continuing on with Benny, uh, I am going to go through and show you how to go through and add seams in and go through and unwrap your model and go through and apply a texture to it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified for when the next part of Benny goes live. Um, not only, uh, this is a new series I've recently just started, uh, most of my channel so far has been composed of gaming videos, so if you want to see me playing random video games and causing antics there, go ahead and feel free to go through and check those out. There will be some links to videos at the end of the video. So thank you guys so much once again for joining me as we work with Benny and go through and start diving into Blender, and until we meet guys, happy questing! and safe travels. Bye guys.